The Finding Farmland Calculator is designed to support property purchasing decisions, but there are a couple of relevant features that have to do with leasing too. In the scenario built here, we're using the FSA down payment loan to purchase the property. Even if this is the most affordable way for you to finance this purchase, you still might not be able to afford it right now. Maybe you don't have this cash for the down payment. Or, maybe your business isn't scaled up to the point where it can afford this monthly mortgage payment. But, if your business plan and financial plan shows that you will eventually be able to make these payments, lease to own might be the right pathway to ownership for you. In the calculator, we have this lease to own function if you want to build this into your scenario. You have the option to set a monthly lease payment, and if your lease payment is annual, you could just divide it by 12. We'll say it's $1,000 a month here. And you could set the term, the length of time that you'll be leasing. So we'll say you need three years. And so from years one to three in this scenario, we're saying we're making a $1,000 monthly lease payment because we're trying to save up for this down payment, or we're trying to scale up our business to get to that $1,600 a month loan payment. And you'll see that it increases this total cost because it just pushes back the period three years over which you're going to pay off this loan. A second feature of the calculator that can help you out if you're thinking about leasing instead of buying is this lease versus buy calculator in the affordability section. Now, the decision to lease versus buy is not just a financial one, but this feature can help you think about the financial part of this decision. It allows you to look out into the future, and it's usually helpful to pick a pretty long-term date, so we're going to say 20 years out into the future. And it shows you what your purchasing costs will be over that first 20 years, so this includes your mortgage payment, but also your, your ownership costs, so the property taxes, the insurance. It also shows you how much equity you had earned in that property, so how much of the principal of the loan you would have paid off. And this equity is potentially useful if you want to sell the property. You'll have this equity earned in it, so this will be the cash that you get back. Um, it also could be used as collateral for other kinds of loans if you're looking to scale up your business. And you can compare that to the amount of money in 20 years that you would spend on rent. So here you'll notice that the rent payment is much lower than the property purchasing costs over this 20 year period. But you wouldn't, in the renting scenario, would not have earned any equity in the property. And again, there's a lot more that goes into this decision than this calculation here. But this is one small tool that you could use to make these long-term decisions.